what's up my name is Technoba here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in today's video i've got a rather interesting topic for you that you probably don't know about just yet as it's a new project of mine as you know twitch currently has rust drops available where you can go ahead and watch streamers for two hours each or so and you'll get a magical item from them added to your steam inventory to keep forever you can of course see the drops that you've currently claimed on twitch.tv slash drops slash inventory and you can see the available drops on the old campaigns tab over here. You can of course also see the available drops on the facepunch page twitch.facepunch.com and this is where I much prefer to see these as you can see who's currently live and who's currently not live. But you don't see what items you already have even though it's linked to your Twitch account. If we have a look at the Twitch page over here, inventory, you'll only see items that I've got and if I head across to the All Campaigns tab, you'll see all of the streamers, but you don't know which ones I already have and which ones are currently live, which is very annoying. But I've made a Firefox and Chrome extension that fixes this issue for you. Basically, all you have to do is install a plugin, which will be linked in the description down below as soon as it goes live. Currently, it's pending review on both Mozilla's Firefox App Store and the Chrome Extension Store. But I've got it installed here from the local files. And of course, like my other projects, this is completely open source. So if you don't trust it, you can come over here and look at the source code for it. It's all made in JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. That's basically it. Everything's here and perfectly transparent. And of course, if you don't trust the distribution that's available on the Chrome and Firefox app store, you can download it and install it yourself, knowing exactly what's going into it. So it's 100% safe and I don't see anything from your account or anything like that. With all of that aside, what exactly does this extension do? If we head across to the twitch.facepunch.com page with the plugin installed, you can see it up here, the Techno Rust Twitch Drop Assistant. If I hit F5 to refresh the page, you'll see a pop-up. Rust Drop Assistant. Time since last check, unknown. Last check, undefined. Update now. Scrolling down, nothing's changed. But if I were to refresh the page and click Update now, you'll see that the Twitch inventory page opens up and then closes rather quickly. If I simply refresh this page over here, scrolling down, you can see which items I already have collected, highlighted in green, making life a ton easier because we see exactly what we need to get at the very top left. Yes, it reorganizes them and we'll be able to see who's live and who's not. Whenever we refresh this page, we'll see exactly how long since the last update and all you have to do is click update now to get new information. How exactly does it work? Well, it has a look at this inventory page over here. Whenever it's open, you'll see this pop-up saying it saved the claimed items, but basically it looks at the names of each of these items down here and then compares them to the names over here. And if the name matches, it simply adds a green background and a light green border. It's that simple. It's basically all it does. But of course, it also reorganizes everything here. So the ones you haven't got appear first in the list and then all of the ones that you do have. While this plugin is still a version 1.0, it seems to work good enough and does exactly what I needed to do to keep track of all of the items that I don't have so that I know when I've got absolutely everything. And this is especially important to you if you're 100 percenting. Previously, I've had to make a list of everyone that's streaming and then slowly get rid of the items as I collect them, which is a lot of effort when this can be done all automatically for you and you see exactly who's live whenever. All you have to do is simply open up twitch.facepunch.com and stay on this page. You don't need to even go to the Twitch inventory page, just click update now and it updates for you with all of the items that you have in your inventory. Just make sure that when you see the claim button that you actually click it, otherwise it won't register here. Why? Because they need to be on this claimed list at the very bottom here. It's super simple and should work out of the box. Other than that, it doesn't change anything else currently, but I'm possibly thinking of adding a sort button or a only show live or an only show items that I haven't got button somewhere on this just to make life a little bit more easy. When it eventually goes live, both the Chrome and Firefox links will be in the description down below because of COVID, it could be delayed slightly. And of course, immediately, if you're curious, this page over here showing the source code for the plugin will be immediately available. Of course, I'll also be customizing this so that it looks something like my other projects such as the wildly popular Steam account switcher and has a whole bunch of information on how to use it, screenshots and the rest. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I really do think that you can benefit from this if you're someone who likes to 100% all of the Rust item drops. And of course, if you're interested in something like this for another game, make sure to let me know somewhere in the comments down below and I may even get to it. 
For now, it's just going to be focused on Rust, and I'll keep it up to date as long as the Rust drops are happening and I'm interested in actually collecting them. Because it's open source, if you'd like to contribute anything, of course you can. Hopefully you found something useful in it, I really recommend that you go ahead and give it a try when it is eventually live. For now, and probably the next few hours after releasing this video, you won't be able to get your hands on it, but you will be able to download it and manually load it into your browser if you're curious but I would highly recommend waiting for it to become available on the actual extension stores as it will be automatically updated from there. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.